this company. Right, let's talk about some of the others quickly. Our power just went in, loves this place. Yeah, he does. Um, he also loves it over at the Curra. Slight concern over ground. John Beefy, Johnson Horton. Jumbi has got the blinkers on for the first time today, which is interesting, and hopefully can reignite his enthusiasm because he's shown no form recently. There's Millstream, Jason. Yep, um, absolutely on a roll, and always been highly regarded by the, the Jane Chapel Hyam team. Um, very, very good win at York last time. Over on the far side there, Shartash for Wathnan. Yeah, we know Archie's um, good with his sprinters. It'd be great for them to have another winner. They've invested so much in this um, meeting. And then I think the final one comes forward. Cardim, who's got mixed form at the stalls, left the rider behind a couple of years ago, won it last year. The Cunelism of the second Jubilee Stakes, six furlongs off, group one off today. They're all loaded up, oh, power burst out, and Jumby was slow, as he often is. Far side swing along is one of the first to show with Chartash and Art Power, the grey Quinault, and the pace is strong. Millstream, then Washington Heights, and believing, and already we've got two groups, because Cardim toes up the second wave, which should have been a ring. The groups are behind each other in this case, rather than alongside each other, with Jumby towards the back mid Bar he held up, Wizard of Eye is well back with Badream, so it is out in front, swing along with Quinault, continuing to press the pace with Shartash's red cap, then Art Power, uh, Washington Heights on the right-hand side, travelling well, believing just nudged along with Millstream, trying to get involved, his card and from off the pace with Badream, should have been a ring jumpy, Mitt Bar, he's still ridden cold, out in the lead, it is still swing along, Shartash left-hand side now, believing, ridden along is Quinault with Millstream, travelling up strongly is Cardam just behind the leaders for Oshie, Murphy, who's yet to make his move, Mitt Barty with work to do, swing along, and now Cardam breaks cover, believing, then Millstream and Washington Heights, swing along, hanging tough, Millstream, then Cardam over on the far side, from believing, at the line, Cardam reaches close home, and it's Cardam, back to back, Queen Elizabeth II, Jubilees, Cardam beats swing along, Millstream believing, Wizard of Ivor, Dream all in the heat, with Shartash, Mitt Barty never got there, should have been a ring, Washington Heights faded on the run, and Jumbi was last of all just preceded by Art Power. 8 0 80 to 1 last year, 1 4 14 to 1 this. Charlie Hills has had a quiet time. Oshin Murphy, confident at halfway, made his way from the second half of the field. Great run by Swing Along, fought off a whole host of challenges that included Millstream and Believing. Badge Reeve on ground that wouldn't have suited as run well in fifth. Wizard of Eye in sixth place. But. Cardam, well, he seems to save it for the right occasion. As I say, he's had a chequered history down here, down the years, but this was success for Victory Hay and Oshin Murphy. Cardam wins the race again. And Dr. Jim yesterday warned us, because all the talk has been about the horse Jamie Spencer chose, Mitt Bahi, but he said, don't rule out Cardam. And the Hills boys are here. <laughs> There's Eddie. Oh, more tears at Royal Ascot. And Dad's had a difficult run of things. No winner for about three weeks. What a brilliant way to come out of the doldrums. One of the stars of ITV over the last couple of years. Big Brother's there. Asheen's just having a fantastic week. Swing Along's run a huge race. But Asheen always had him in his sights. Love the way Asheen interacts with the...